Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. Yes, indeed. Brother Tom is with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, another one of those beautiful days to be in Jesus' days. <laughs> We're going to spend a little time talking about Jesus. Yes, indeed. The gospel is, and we'll keep this pretty simple. This is a really straightforward kind of word. The gospel that we preach is not a religion. It's not a code of conduct or, or a law or some kind of regulations. It's not an ism, but a person. Jesus Christ, the person, Jesus. That's who we preach. And that's who true preachers preach is Jesus when preaching the gospel, because the gospel is about a person. The gospel is Jesus Christ, the person. And so whenever it comes in the form of works or philosophies or isms of any kind, there's something wrong there because the, the focus is not on the true focus of the gospel which is the person, Jesus Christ. And so, Jesus, always Jesus. What I meant, the focus of preaching the gospel. Paul, when writing to the Colossians, had some things to say about this. And we'll just share a little bit of it and talk about it just a little bit. And make a few points today. From Colossians chapter 1, Paul says, Wherefore, uh, whereof I am made a minister, according to the discipline, and that it would be the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's back up to the 24. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for, my, for his body's sake, which is the church. So all that he's facing, all that he's going through in his time of afflictions, is for them, not for himself, but for them. And he goes through that gladly for them. Now, whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God, even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and generations. But now, is made manifest to his saints, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of his mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory, whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. Well, praise the Lord. <laughs> and true it is. All right. The mystery which had before been hid, that is not known previously, is the mystery of Jesus Christ. It is Jesus. All of the Old Testament sacrifices and all that were all pointed to Jesus, but that they didn't know that at the time in that way. But it has now been revealed that he is the one sacrifice to whom all sacrifices pointed. It is his sacrifice. There is those sin, those sacrifices could not, they were band-aids. They were temporal until the true would come. And he did. Jesus Christ. The ultimate sacrifice for our sin. The sacrifice that would take them away permanently and forever. Jesus Christ. This is the person whom we preach. Christ crucified. The message of 
Jesus Christ coming, born of a virgin birth, living a sinless life. He who knew no sin took upon himself our sin and bore them upon the cross. His shed blood, the price of the forgiveness of our sin. Oh, this glorious Jesus, none other like him, none to compare. For he is the only begotten Son of God, born of the virgin birth. He who came and bled and died upon that cross, a physical death, his body died spirit and soul eternal. But he died a physical death and was buried in a tomb to emphasize that point. And on the third day, Jesus rose again. Jesus is alive. So the person of which we speak, this Jesus, isn't just someone who lived in the past that we look at. He's alive now, today. And at the moment, seated at the right hand of God. And we know sometimes he stands up because when Stephen was stoned early in the book of Acts, as he kneels down to die, as he's being stoned, he witnesses and testifies to the fact that he sees Jesus standing at the right hand of God, ready to receive him. Oh, praise the Lord. And we have... His spirit, the very spirit of God, the very spirit of Christ, who dwells in us when we believe in Jesus, the person, Jesus Christ, the Savior. For only he can save us. For he is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father. No person can come to the Father but by Jesus, John 14, 6. And it can't be by works or law or codes of conduct. For we also know from Ephesians 2, 8 through 10, it is by grace through faith. We're saved by grace through faith, not of works, lest any man should boast. But it is the gift of God. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus which God had before, you know, you, we are his workmanship. And as we know here, we're being to a place of perfection. Perfect, I could, no, the perfect there means to be complete, to maturity, to come to full maturity. And the Christ who is in us, by his spirit dwelling in us, out through us to others. And as we grow and mature, we become more like him until that day when we will be complete. Oh, and amen. That's a beautiful truth. And it's all about a person. We didn't get there by our own, but by Jesus Christ and Christ in us, the hope of glory, hope, oh, blessed hope. But we have a hope in beautiful glory to come, in an eternal life to come. And take note of something else that's really interesting about this to share and for a moment of thought here. To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery. The riches of the glory of this mystery. Which is Christ in us, the hope of glory. Christ in us, the hope of glory. The riches of his glory. Can there be a value? Oh, the riches of his glory are endless, eternal. Abundantly, exceedingly above all, the riches of his glory, the hope of Christ in us. 
such a beautiful truth. And to know that it's like, it's, it's not by works, it's not by law, a code of conduct or an ism or a teaching or a way of life or a, it's by the person. A most beautiful person. He who loves you came for you, shed his blood, gave his life for you because he loves you. Oh, yes, because the Father loves you. That he would do all of this that you might know that love and willingly receive his love in the way that he has offered it, in the glory of his riches, in the riches of his glory, revealed in Jesus Christ, to know the person, personally. Yes, indeed, today is a beautiful day to meet Jesus if you haven't met him already. Yes, indeed. Believe, believe in Jesus and what he has done for you. For he is the one who can save you. He is the savior. There's nothing else you can do. Nothing. It's Jesus. The beauty of Jesus. Oh, and amen, and amen. And know that your sins are forgiven. Ask, believe. Receive forgiveness of your sins. Come to that place. Yes, indeed. And believe. And brothers and sisters today in Christ Jesus, oh, what a beautiful day it is to share that message with someone, to share the gospel with someone, to share the person of Jesus with someone in whatever way God has given you to do today. Share Jesus with someone. The person. The person of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Oh, it's a beautiful message. The gospel is a beautiful gospel. It's Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. <laughs>